Hello everyone, this is Ari from Tech with King and I'm back with another new tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can repair your desktop or laptop RAM at your home with using three steps. So without any wasting of time, so let's get started. Welcome back to my channel with another new video. In my previous video, I've already shown that how you can repair your RAM at home with using three steps. So in this video, I'm also repairing, showing how you can repair your RAM at home with using three steps. So this will go into the new three steps. So in, in previous video, I have used the desktop RAM and I have used the three steps. The first step is cleaning the RAM pin. Second step, the cleaning uh, the whole RAM with the alcohols uh, liquid and the third final step uh, heating the ram with silver foil and the microwave so in this video i am going to using uh, try to show you the the another new steps uh, which i know so in this video i am going to use this uh, desktop ram so as you can see this is the desktop ram and this is the laptop ram so as you can see both the uh, rams so in this video i am going to uh, repair this ram so first of all you have to repair uh, so first of all you have to remove the ram from the desktop so as you can see so if you don't know how to remove the ram from the desktop you can check out uh, uh, on youtube there are a lot of videos on this on this topic that how you can remove ram from your desktop and this is the laptop ram the both the procedures are same you can check out there are a lot of tutorial videos on internet so this is the desktop ram uh, so in this video i'm going to show uh, uh, using the both this ram so first in this video i'm going to show the three steps so these uh, steps are going to brand new steps so let me just show you the steps so the step one is here so first of all you need an eraser so as you can see in my previous video i've already uh, used this eraser so this is the another uh, method i am i used in not working ramps so this is the eraser so this is the toothbrush old toothbrush and the sanitizer uh, i think everyone having sanitizer nowadays so you have to take the sanitizer you have to put the sanitizer a uh, little bit the sanitizer on your eraser so as you can see uh, like this so now you have to uh, put the little bit uh, sanitizer on the ram and you have to uh, use this eraser on the pins and you have to rub like this with sanitizer in my previous video, I've, uh, I've used the thinner liquid. The thinner liquid is also like the alcohol uh, liquid, alcohol uh, uh, contained liquid. So you can also use the sanitizer. Sanitizer because everyone having sanitizer nowadays, so that's why I have uh, tell you to use the sanitizer. So as you can see, you have to do same like this on your RAM. You have to take the sanitizer, put the little bit sanitizer on your eraser and you have to start rubbing the uh, gold pins of your RAM like I am showing in the video. So you have to do same thing. So after doing this, the RAM pins will be clean, very clean. In my previous video, I have shown, uh, I have shown that uh, I am going uh, erase, erasing the RAM pins but in this video, I am using the sanitizer. So this is the laptop RAM. So in this video, I am going to also so let uh, just uh, take the little bit sanitizer and start rubbing the golden pins of the RAM. So first step is uh, cleaning the whole RAM with the sanitizing alcohol to the content substance. You can also use the alcohol or thinner or kerosene oil, any alcohol content liquid. So you can use so cleaning the golden pin is uh, completed now you have to take the toothbrush old toothbrush and you have to put the little bit sanitizer on the brush and you have to clean the whole the ram so as you can see in the screen you have to do the same thing on your ram if you have a, a sticker on your ram make sure you have not uh, using the alcohol a sanitizer on the RAM sticker so it will going to erase everything from the sticker so it we can void your warranty so make sure you have not using the brush or alcohol content on this stickers you have to clean hold the RAM so as you can see screen I have cleaned both the RAMs now so this is the first step this will going to perfectly work if RAM have any fungal bacteria on the on the golden pin so as you can see the golden pins is very clean now 
so as you can see so now put this ram again in your pc so this will going to definitely work if your ram uh, got dirt or any fungal bacteria on this ram so it will going to perfectly work so first step is completed now let's see the second step. so for the second step you need uh, a silver foil and the hair dryer so in my previous video i've already shown uh, i've already shown that how you can repair your ram with silver foil so this is the silver foil as you can see and this is the ram so in that video a lot of people comment that silver foil will be going to uh, not work because in that video i have shown how you can uh, wrap the silver foil ram and i have told in that video that you have to put your ram in the microwave everyone commented that in that video so this is the video in my android phone everyone commented in that video that uh, ram will be going to burn and you have so it will going to burst so it will not like that you have to set on the 45 to 50 degree only for 30 seconds so it will going to work so don't comment like that say it will going to burn so one of the person commented in that video that it, it uh, the microwave process is perfectly working for the, them so i have just uh, showing that the comment but this person not using not using the microwave but this person using the cooker so the pro this method uh, as you can see in the screen so this is the photo of this method i have also taken the photo while doing this method so this person follow this method to work so this person uh, ram will perfectly working with that method so this person also this person is also uh, given some method and some tips too so this will i am going to give the screenshot of this uh, comment on my video you can check out and you can read the detailed comment of this so you can check out this comment so now let's get into the second step so it this is the silver file you have to uh, take silver file according to your ram so this is the silver file and this is my ram if uh, step one is not working you can try the second step if uh, first, uh, first step is perfectly work you don't need to go into the second step so i've covered the ram with the silver file so this is the laptop ram i'm going to cover this you have to cover whole the ram so as you can see both the rams are covered with the silver foil now you have to plug this hair dryer to your uh, electric board so as you can see just now i have plugged this uh, uh, hair dryer to my electric board so as you can see this is the rams now you have to set the temperature in uh, you have to this turn, turn on the hair dryer and you have to and you have to do uh, do the air bro on the ram as i am showing in the screen you have to do the same procedure only for two to three minutes that i am doing make sure you have doing both the sides So this is the second step you have to do you have to just uh, uh, heat the ram with the hair dryer if you have a, a hot air gun you can use also that but make sure you have to uh, heat the ram only for uh, one minute to two minute or three minute it will depend on you so may i recommend you to heat ram as minimum so as you can see just now i have uh, heat the ram and some liquid so just to clean its liquid this is the alcohol just uh, just now i've used so this will process uh, this press step will work so let me just explain the science behind this so this is the ram and this is the pcb board and this is the chip so a lot of uh, desktop uh, heat to while running so according uh, if according that heat the ram chips melted sometimes so it will uh, leave the uh, some connections leave from the rcb uh, rcb chip so as you can see this is the chip sometime it will little bit uh, lose the connections so that's why it will happen so that's why we have uh, covered this uh, ram into silver phone and we just heat 
the RAM with this hairdryer so after doing this the chip will going to permanently fix with the RCB so this will work this is the second step now this will step will not work if first step one is not working so now let's move to the step three so we are done with the step three step two so this is the step three so for step three you make sure uh, this will can break your ram or you can fix your ram it's depend on you so for step three you can be uh, you have to be a technical guy so for step three you need a this, um, this uh, multi ammeter so this is the multi ammeter and you need a soldering iron so this is the soldering iron so as you can see I have uh, plugged this into board and it's uh, hit started heating so as you can see it it's heated so first step you must be a technical guy you you have some make sure you have some knowledge about the RCBs chips and some ICs so third step you have to do means take out the RAM from the desktop and you have to very, check out the RAM very carefully there are little bit uh, ICs on the uh, RAM so as you can see this is the IC and this is the IC as you can see this all are the ICs now you have to check uh, whether all the ICs working or not with this uh, uh, multimeter let me just show you so let me just uh, zoom in on this RAM and focus and set up the camera so as you can see this is the RAM now you have to take the multimeter and you have to set it on the connectivity so it will going to if you connect to the, the sides so it will go, give some buzzer so as you can see when I connect this two joints it will going to give this some buzzer and you have to make sure you have to set it on this uh, on this this means it will be uh, connectivity tester so now you have to take the RAM and you have to start checking all the uh, chips ICs is working or not so let me just show you so this IC is perfectly working leave this and you have to check the second IC uh, so as you can see this is not working this IC you have to point it this IC is not working so let, let's move to the second IC so this is the perfectly working this is also working now you have to turn the RAM you have to search the another, another RAM so this is also working it's also working so this is also working so as you can see there is an IC is not working here so now you have to uh, look at this IC very carefully and you have to take this RAM and you you can go to your nearby electrical store and you can buy this IC while showing them or you can buy this IC from online uh, if you have some idea so you have to buy the same IC and you have to replace this IC so let me just show you how you can do that after purchasing IC you have to take the soldering wire and soldering some this is a soldering iron you have to uh, take the IC and you have to start removing that while soldering you have to remove the old IC you can use uh, uh, any other uh, tool I have this tool to I am using this you have to just uh, remove the old IC which is not, not, not working after removing it you have to take the another new IC and you have to solder it, it uh, in the old place you can check out uh, the detailed tutorial video on YouTube there are a lot of videos on on YouTube so if uh, RAM uh, laptop RAM is not working as you can see there are lot of ICs on this laptop RAM one two so this all the ICs if we check it it's whether it's working or not so let me just show you how you can check it so this is the laptop uh, ICs so let me just uh, going to check whether it's working or not so this IC is not, not working as you can see let me just uh, check the another it's also not working so this is the working so as you can see laptop RAM this both are IC is not working so I'm going to have to I have to change this I have to change this both the ICs so after changing the IC it, the RAM will going to perfectly work uh, both the RAMs 
so this is the all the three new latest steps i've already shown a detailed to video on, on how you can repair your ram so that, that my previous video and in that video i have already shown the three steps but that three steps is very old now this is the all new three steps is perfectly work so if you're not a technical guy i only recommend you to follow the first or second step don't follow the third step third step you must be a technical guy to do the third step so following all the three steps you can repair your ram you did not require to change ram or you did not require to go to any technical uh, store to repair your ram so this is the three steps you can use you can try your at your home so it will going to perfectly work so that's it for this video thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel like this video share this video so subscribe to my channel click to bell icon for the uh, for more upcoming tips and tricks video related to android or pc hardware thank you